Hi, in this video we're going to do a series of integrals by just inspection by looking for the derivative. Very common type of integral. You might use this, uh, use u substitution for this, but we're going to try and do it by just just inspecting the function itself. Okay, so we're going to rewrite this one as the integral of x squared times 1 plus x cubed to the negative 1 half dx. So this piece right here, 1 plus x cubed, the derivative of this is 3x squared. So we see that we have a 1x squared. So 1 plus x cubed, add 1, so that's 1 half. When I take this derivative, I'll have a half come down, and I'll also have this 3x squared come out. So a half comes down, 1 half, and a 3x squared. I don't want this 3 halves, so I'm going to counteract this with a 2 thirds. Plus C. The next one, we have e to the x to the fourth. So the derivative of e to the x to the fourth will be e to the x to the fourth times 4x cubed. Here's my x cubed, but I don't have a 4, so I'm going to counteract this with a 1 fourth plus c. The next one, ln x divide x. The derivative of ln x is 1 over x. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to square it to make sure that I get my ln x. So I'll bring down the 2. If I take the derivative of this, I'll bring down this 2. This will become a 1. And I'll take the derivative of the inside, which is 1 over x. So I'll be left with just ln x over x times 2. I don't want that times 2, so I'm going to counteract everything with a 1 half. And then the next one, plus c, the next one will have sine x and add 1, we'll get to the sixth. So if I take the derivative of this, I'll bring the 6 down, that will become 5, and times the derivative of the inside, which is cosine. So you see our cosine happens, our to the power of 5 happens, and we have a 6, but we don't have a 6, we have a 1. So I'm going to counteract everything with a 1 sixth. And lastly, I'm going to rewrite this one. So integral of 1 plus tan x to the 1 half secant squared x dx. This one, here's my piece here. That will be a 1 plus tan x. If I add 1 to this, that's 3 halves. Now if I take the derivative of this, cross that out, this comes down, and that becomes 1 half times the derivative of the inside, which is secant squared. The derivative of 1 plus tan is secant squared x. So I have everything except for this 3 halves. I just have a 1 in front, so I need to counteract this with a 2 thirds. Plus C.